Hey, what's going on guys? It's Combo here. Today I'm bringing you guys some more Black Ops 2 gameplay on the Wii U. I do hope you guys enjoy it. Today I'm going to be talking about a lot of Call of Duty Ghost information that was released today with the big multiplayer reveal event in LA. The multiplayer trailer was released on Call of Duty's channel. I don't think I will be uploading it to my channel like I did last year with Black Ops 2 unless I do some sort of breakdown or something like that, but for the most part, you guys can go and watch that um, for yourself if you haven't seen it already. But there was a ton of information that was released today about the game, obviously. And in this video, I just wanted to discuss really quickly the, the new graphical appearance to the game with the new next-gen engine and the things that they added to make the game better in terms of graphical appearance and as well as that with audio and character customization and all that kind of stuff. And I'll be discussing some more information about the game, including more about perks, kill streaks, and all that kind of stuff in future videos. And I'm pretty excited for it, so let's get right into it. Right off the bat, there was no mention of the Wii U throughout the whole multiplayer reveal event, just in case you guys were wondering. I just wanted to inform you on that. But the first thing is that the game will be running on 60 frames per second across all consoles, including the Wii U. So that's pretty cool. We can expect some smoother gameplay and all that kind of stuff across all consoles with the, new, with the release of the the new consoles and on the Wii U as well. And as well as that, the new next gen engine will provide more destructible environments as you can see in the trailer and in the multiplayer reveal event there was actually a lot of destructible things in the maps including some buildings, some shelters and all that kind of stuff that you could blow up with explosives, C4 and even kill streaks. There was mention of some kill streaks that were able to alter the environment, you know, maybe blow up some buildings and change how the map is played which is really cool. So destructible environments are going to be in the multiplayer maps and these things can include some traps some more map lethalities and all that kind of stuff so it's gonna be pretty interesting it's not gonna be the straight kind of standard same map all the time you can alter it each time which will affect the gameplay tremendously map knowledge will be more important than ever with these new destructible environment so that's going to be pretty cool to see how that plays out as well as that with the new engine comes a few new character movements there's a few new movements one called the lean which you can actually lean around walls and kind of aim your gun out and poke your head out and kind of just pick off enemies as they go by mantle and mantle jump and what it enables you to do is when you're running you can actually jump over objects without losing any momentum at all so Previously in Call of Duties you had to kind of jump over, your weapon would drop and you would kind of take you know a few seconds to get over the object but in Call of Duty Ghosts you can actually run and kind of jump over with the same motion so you won't lose any momentum at all and you can actually shoot while you're doing it. The last thing they mentioned was the knee slide which is similar to the dolphin dive and it pretty much enables a character to go from running to prone or crouched so it's while you're running slide on your knees across the surface and you can like I said go from standing to prone. I don't think you can shoot while you're doing it, but it's a pretty quick motion, and like I said, it can be used as possibly an evasive maneuver like the Dolphin Dive. So those things mentioned were pretty much new visual perks, I guess you could say, to the new engine, but they also revamped the audio engine in the game completely, and this to me looked really cool. One thing that they changed is that the bullets and the guns will sound differently in different rooms and across different surfaces. So for example, if you're in a carpeted room and you shoot a gun, it'll sound much more suppressed than if it were outside or inside a room or a metal crate or something like that. They will sound completely different. And if you are a player you know, who uses a headset, this will be extremely helpful for you in finding out a player's location. And it could be pretty helpful if they're using maybe a silencer or something like that. You would still be able to tell where they're at based on the audio clues. As well as that, they added a new feature called Battle Chatter, which will be pretty Pretty interesting I want to see how the community reacts to this one and what happens with this battle chatter is that your your physical Call of Duty character or your soldier will actually shout out real call outs to your other teammates and to your other players and they will be able to hear where the enemy is at for example if you think of firing range from Black Ops 1, if there was a guy in the sniper tower or the big tower, I don't, I don't know the, the call out for it necessarily, but if your character physically sees somebody up there and you, you're kind of shooting at him trying to get him down but you can't quite get him down, your soldier will actually yell out, guy in the tower, guy in the tower, or something like that to let your teammates know that you know there's a guy up there which is pretty cool like I said it's gonna be interesting to see how the community reacts to this one it could be a bit iffy to some people but we'll see how that works out but it definitely makes the experience a lot more interesting and lastly with the audio engine they added these little sensors in objects such as like fences or just objects on the map that will actually react to explosive shockwaves so say if you throw a grenade around a crate and it blows up and a few seconds later you'll hear something behind you or around you kind of rattle or shake or a little bit and make some make a little bit of sound imagine shaking like a metal fence or something like that you'll hear that behind you and that's because of the explosive shockwave so these things just make it a little bit more realistic a little bit more interesting and as well as that 
you know, with the battle chatter and the audio engine with the bullets sounding differently, those things definitely give advantages to people who, you know, listen into the game audio and all that kind of stuff. But with items that react to explosive shockwaves, um, that may throw you off a little bit. So it kind of balances out that way. Lastly, I'm just going to cover the character customization because this kind of has something to do with the new engine and the new appearances and graphics of the game. You can actually create a soldier in Call of Duty Ghost similar to the Creative Class system. You can actually customize your soldier completely. They mentioned in the multiplayer reveal event that there is actually over 20,000 different combinations of soldiers that you can customize with different items and different appearances and all that kind of stuff and there are actually some female soldiers this time so finally for the first time in Call of Duty history they will be recognizing some female soldiers which will give a different kind of feel to the game. You will create up to 10 different soldiers which are kind of like your creative class system and will have different loadouts and different appearances and all that kind of stuff and what you actually do is you play on each soldier and you gain enough experience to prestige. You can only prestige each soldier once, but you can have up to 10 soldiers like I said, so there will be only 10 prestiges like there were in previous games, so that's going to be awesome as well. You can create your own squad with each soldier and kind of rank up and it's just going to offer a lot of variety and differences between the guns and the appearances of each soldier. So that's pretty much it guys, that's all of the information that was released about the new graphical appearance of the game, including some visual and audio improvements, and I hope I covered a lot here, I hope you guys learned something and are excited for Call of Duty Ghost. I'll be making a few more videos within the next few days explaining more information that was released, so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.